Kristen actually got me I got me <laughs> the first Akatar book and it sat on my bookshelf for like a year. But I couldn't pressure her. I just I bought it to her. I, to- I bought it and yeah. it's like it's like go lead the horse to water. Right. But I can't make you drink. Yeah. And you just have to come to it in your own time. Yeah. And then when you do it's just like Welcome to Fizz and Fiction! Woo! I'm Spencer. Hi. I'm Kristen. Hi. Oh, hi. Kristen. Hi. <laughs> fizz and Fiction. We're going to be drinking some fizz. Today, recovery fizz. Later date, some adult <laughs> adult fizz when we're at 100% right now. I'm functioning at a good 40. Yeah, I was say, what's your percentage right now? Oh. Uh, 40? 40. Not over 50. No. Like, oh, no. Yeah, no. Solid 40. I mean, we are out of bed, though, doing this, which is impressive. Oh, yeah. I wash my face. Oh. Yeah. I, like, I put some effort in. I put some effort into this, yeah. for sure. This is our fizz today. Yes. This is our recovery fizz. Didn't have the good stuff because... <clears throat> we had too much of the good stuff last night. Yeah. So, why are we here today, Kristen? We're here today to talk about books. Woo! And introduce ourselves, I think, for the first... This is our first podcast episode yes so if it's a little rough around the edges uh be kind please yeah yeah <laughs> for sure and we're gonna be talking about books so drinking fizz talking about some fiction we're here fizz for and it. fiction love it love it love it so let's talk about we're not gonna get into like our um main books or our like deep into deep dive books on this episode but let's talk about what kind of books we like yeah well, we should also just, like, tell them who we are, Polly. Oh, yeah. I don't think they know who we are yet. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> who are you? I am Spencer. I'm a 30-year-old living in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, Spencer. Hi, Spencer. It sounds like AA. I know. <laughs> it kind of felt like AA. I feel like we should be in AA. Be, but Books Anonymous? No. B, <laughs> B-A. B-A. Books Anonymous. Yeah. That's fair. Too much reading. And tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Kristen. I'm also... Oh, I'm 31. I'm not also 30. Um, Pushing 32. Yeah. Two months. Two months. <laughs> and I'm also in Atlanta, which is why we're here on this couch together. Yay! Because we live near each other. And if you're from Atlanta, we do live OTP. Hmm. I identify as OTP. Yeah. We can't lie to the Atlanteans. Yeah. Every, for everyone else, though, we're Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like anybody outside the realm. Yes. The realm. Yes. The what? realm. <laughs> Why don't we like have cool words? Yeah, like you like we, in books we call them like they legit call it like a realm, and I'm like, why don't we call? We could. We're in the um the realm of like what's not a state if we were oh, like a realm. Well, we wouldn't be a kingdom like Snow White. She talks about her realm. Yeah. Uh, the evil queen does, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. It's like who's the fairest in it? And no, she doesn't um, say in the realm. No, she, she says in the oh, land. She, in the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like she uses the word realm at some point. But you also don't hear, like, people saying, like, oh, the land of. Like, that stuff's just cool. Well, you know, even, like, in not that long ago, people would say, like, your last name, you wouldn't say your last name. You'd be like, I'm Kristen of Monroe. Oh, uh, see, that, see, this was the same kind of stuff we need to bring back. <laughs> <laughs> so you're now Spencer of Peachtree Corner. Yes! <laughs> and I'm Kristen of Alpharetta. See, like, what a cool way to introduce yourself. That's a. That, I am Spencer of Peachtree Corners, <laughs> and I'm Kristen of Alpharetta. We come from the realm of Atlanta. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. I'm just saying we need to bring that kind of stuff back. Noted. We will. This is the place to do it. Yep. You heard it here first, folks. We're in a realm. We're in a realm. Yeah, books. So, what so kind here. of books do you like to read, Spencer? Ooh, of yeah. Peachtree Corners. <laughs> Spencer of Peachtree Corners. Um, I love. Plethora of genres. Mm, mm. I would almost say anything but nonfiction, even though Britney Spears not a uh, bio. That's very like yeah, but that's like a let's see exception, not to the, the rule. rule. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, not a big nonfiction girly, but you know, you you think maybe I should get into try some nonfiction about some like things that interest me because 
you know, I really like that. Like, oh, I really like World War Two. You do <laughs> like movies and stuff. So I wonder if I would like World War Two nonfiction. Or maybe I should read some more World War Two fiction. I was gonna ask you. You read a lot of historical fiction right now? No, I think that's something that I haven't tapped into. That yeah, I, need to. I feel like you would like that. I saw a book um, the other day actually that I almost bought on Black Friday and I didn't because mm. it was on Kindle Unlimited. So I was like, <laughs> no point buying it. Yeah. Um, it was called like the. Oh, it's like the librarian of the last library, the last library in England. Oh, that's what it's called, and it's it's based it's World War Two fiction. So I was like, I need to add that to my list. But yeah, I think I need to explore historical fiction more. You know, get out of my hockey smut. <laughs> uh, but you know, those are just those are good palate cleansers. Yeah, no, yeah, you need like especially after like a long fantasy book too, like. I need a thriller or a fan or a romance. You gotta bring yourself out of the realm. <laughs> out of the realm. <laughs> because you just like immerse yourself in it and yes. then you're just like, I gotta bring myself back out and of it. Yeah. Ugh. Back to myself. What about you? What's your what's on your I'm definitely a fantasy girly. Yeah. Love fantasy and thrillers. I think I've gotten mm-hmm. more into romance more recently. Yeah. Um, and so like romantic. But I definitely, like, most of my books are of the fantasy genre. Yeah. You know, I think I, not that I don't, like, pay attention when I'm reading, but I think I almost pay attention too much when I read a thriller book. What do you mean by that? I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, constantly analyzing every, like... Oh, well, you're trying to find the, the twist. Yes. Oh, I don't do that. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> I'm, like... I'm like, what does this mean? Did this mean something? Oh. Was that just like... And so I'm constantly... You're analyzing. Because I'm like, there's gonna be a twist because it's like... It's, that's the point. That's the point. Yeah. And so I'm like constantly analyzing like, yeah. is this gonna be the twist? No, wait, this is gonna be a twist. It's like that... Um, when we ride on the cruise. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and you, you were like, I'm making predictions now to see <laughs> if I'm right or not. And I ended up not being right. <laughs> And I ended up hating that ending. I know. My ending would have been better. That's fair. That's um, fair. And that other book we read for book club. Um, the Flicker in the Dark? Or oh, was the one with the kid, the mom, and the, the kid? The Sleepwalking? Yeah. I read both of her books. And I can't remember which one's which. One of them's a Flicker in the Dark, and the other one is not that one. one. It was and the that's other the other one. one then by her. Yeah. But that one, I was like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Like, I'm like constantly just like in my head about what's going to happen. Do you ever like skip? Like, if I'm, like, reading something, I will, like... Oh, that thing when people skip to the bottom of the page? No, I don't do that. <laughs> yes. Which is something you would think I would do, because I you, love spoilers. Don't you... Did you tell me one time that you read the last page of books before? I have before. You have. You have. I have before. But, like, a lot of the times when I do that, it doesn't... There's no context. <laughs> There's like you're like who's this character? Yeah, it's like somebody I haven't met. It's just like they're in a place I don't know. I'm just like okay, this means nothing. Okay, to me. that's fair. That's fair. But no, I don't have that. Like I feel like that's like a form of reading anxiety. <laughs> I think it is. I just read to the bottom of the page. Like oh, is he still alive? Do you okay. want to know? The, you want to know where I think it all started? What? The last Divergent book. Did you read those books? I never read the last one. You don't. I see. So you don't know what happens. I don't know what happens, oh, actually. I can't spoil it then. I don't actually know what happens. It is... Oh, my God. Like, oh. Wait, does four die? No. Oh, okay. Well, then, I'll be happy with it. No, you won't. Oh, no. No, you won't. Do they all die? <laughs> no, I'm going to read it. No, I, I, I didn't even watch that movie because I heard it was so bad. Oh, the movie's great. The fourth one? The first one. Oh, no. They I didn't watched... make the fourth one. <laughs> oh, like, did they? No, it was supposed to be two parts. Like, the... the um, oh, Hunger no, I've Games. seen the first one, of course. Yeah, so they made the first, they made the second, mm-hmm. and then the third was supposed to be two parts, but the last one did so bad that they didn't make the second part, but, like, the way they end the first part of it is, know. like, fine. I don't think I... I own those DVDs. Do you? No. Yeah. Oh. They were all on sale one day. <laughs> Only mine those on sale. The first one was so good. The first one was so, and I love Theo James. Isn't the second one? It's been so long now. I'm trying to remember what happens in the second one. Is it the second one where they go? They get out. Isn't Octavia Spencer in that one? Isn't she like part of the other faction? Or am I imagining that? Is she the? Is she? Is she the lady? She might be the lady. I think she might be the lady. Guys, it's been so long as I've seen. But then that. there's like the people on the outside too. I actually never saw the third one, so I contributed to that. Wow. <laughs> not making the 
fourth one. Way to go. Sorry. <laughs> Could have had more Theo James. I mean, they. I wish... I'm glad they didn't make the last one because, like, of how it ends. Yeah. Which we can't talk about, but... We'll talk about but it. That's the reason I have anxiety when I read. If oh. you know, you know. Oh man! If you now, know, you know. Now I'm curious. Now I gotta read that series. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm gonna put it. On. Just add it to the list. Yeah. Put it on the TV. Oh. Uh, I had read the first one, but I didn't read after uh, the other ones after that because the movies came out and I was like, oh, I'll just watch a movie. Yeah, I mean that like time period was just like all dystopian. Oh yeah. Um, like YA novels, like Hunger Games. Divergent. <laughs> that's just too. There was, there was more. One. There was more. Um, the Maze Runner. Oh, I love the Maze Runner. Have you read those? I've never even seen those movies. I own the first one. No, I own the second one randomly. You don't own the first one? It was on sale. The second one was on sale. Um, I also have a massive DVD collection for those that are not understanding. You can't see it. You can't see it. But, but there, it's there. It's a huge bookshelf. There's also VHSs if, you know, any of our younger viewers want to see a relic. An OG. <laughs> Um, Spy Kids. Um, yeah, they were all trying to cash in. They were all trying to, like, be the next Hunger Games, basically. Oh, yeah. Like, good for them. It's just like there's going to be people trying to be the next Sarah, Sarah J. Mass. 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 <laughs> you should look that up. I feel like it actually would be Moss. Moss. There's two A's. Yeah. Uh, but I'm also not good at pronouncing things. You know. You will come to find that very quickly. Yeah. I, I want to apologize for all future episodes where I mispronounce yeah, because I see a ton mm-hmm. of, like, books on, like, book talk and stuff that's, like, obviously fantasy. Oh, yeah. But, like, obviously not as big. But yeah. But people trying to cash in. Well, I mean, if I was a writer, I'd cash in. Um, sure. What else about us? We're obviously, obviously, book talk girlies. Oh, yes. Book talk girlies. Yeah. I... 100%. I have a lot of saved reels and a lot of saved TikToks on books to read. <laughs> A lot of Akatar memes as I wear my Lyrian Mountain yeah, shirt. Yeah, it's so cute. I would say, actually, so I am as well big into fantasy, but joined the train, like, way later. Kristen actually got me got me <laughs> the first Akatar book, and it sat on my bookshelf for, like, a year. But I couldn't pressure her. I just, I bought it to her. You just I, have to, I bought it, and yeah. it's like, it's like, go lead the horse to water. Right. But I can't make you drink. Yeah. And you just have to come to it in your own time. Yeah. And then when you do, it's just like... And it's so nice to have someone to actually talk about it with now, because yeah. when I read it, no one really read... Oh my gosh, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> to not have anyone... And book talk didn't exist... I would have uh, died. I know. I'm trying to think. I, I would have died. There was still like booktubes, like YouTube. You, like there's you know, a group of YouTubers that I follow on Instagram and stuff. Oh, like, booktubes? Booktube. I've never heard that. Yeah, booktube. I've never heard that book expression. Booktalk and bookstagram. Oh, I've heard bookstagram <laughs> and I've heard booktalk, but I've never heard booktube. Booktube. It's yes. It's such a weird, weird thing. But yeah, I don't know how you did it. Yeah. I would have. I don't even know how you did. I'm currently reading Throne of Glass. Mm-hmm. Um from start and uh i don't know how you waited like how long did it take for those books to come out like like so when one the one a year when i bought when i read the first one i think the first f- three or four were already out oh well, so i was able to read the first three or four not too bad not too and bad. then i had to wait for empire of storms and i had to wait for kingdom of ash but also those were just like such large books that i like i took time off in between oh yeah it's yeah. I know I'm forcing you to read them very quickly, but it's a lot. Oh, it's a that, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff going on. I'm only on book two, <laughs> and I know that there's more to come. I'm just trying to, like, pace myself. And, and like, she released, like, Akatar in between releasing those, too. How intricate do you think her organizational system is? I just imagine that, like, the meme where it's, like, the guy with, like, the, um... Oh, from Always Sunny? Yeah. Where he's got, like, like the... the, the, the pens. He's got the, the murder board. Yeah, the murder board. Where he's like... <sighs> she has a murder board for sure. I bet she at least has, like... Um, I follow one... I follow an author. I don't think it was her who said this, but I follow an author that has, like, basically, like, a, a book Bible. And, like, one of her editors job is to like go through and make sure like the con- continuity is that yeah, the word the continuity yeah. is there and like she's not like talking about someone that died book two and things like that that's nice yeah because some people just don't care and i feel like i see this more <clears throat> in tv shows where i'm just like 
That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's like, um, if you look at the continuity of Friends, it's absolutely... I, I was about to say Friends. It was, it's absolutely atrocious. I've seen TikToks recently that are like... It's so bad. There's like siblings that come and go. Yeah, it's really bad. It's... Because you have so many different people writing, I feel like, is the issue. Oh, yeah. Like, true, it's not true. like the one person... Yeah, that's like, has the truth in their yeah, brain. So you're creating this world for me, girl. So, so let's see, we got fantasy, romance... What about your romance books? I feel like there's a lot of different genres in romance. Man, <laughs> there are. There, There's a lot. And I don't get too, like, deep into some dark stuff. Because there's some dark stuff out there. <laughs> like, some dark stuff. Where I'm just like, I think the stuff that I read is, like, like racy. Yeah. And there's stuff out there. That would make you blush. Oh, well, there's one. Like, just, like, the plot is just, like, whoa. Like, there's one that's all that was all over book talk at one point. But, like, the premise is, like, a stalker. Oh. And his, like, prey? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds weird. But the person, he's stalking. And I don't know, like, what happens, but it's, like, a romance book. And I guess they, like, maybe fall in love and oh. knock some boots. And, and But it's, like, it's, like, yeah. smut. And I'm just, like, I don't think I can get into that premise. Yeah. So, I kind of similar i read i so i read hooked and i know you read hooked oh yeah and so i read like it like on kindle on the on kindle unlimited it showed one of the next ones i was like okay i'll read that one. Oh, wrecked i haven't read that is it good i read it i don't remember which one it was it's the one with it's like the hunchback of notre dame is oh, the story what? <laughs> it is i would I was that premise i would not recommend it essentially it's not following who you think it's following it's following the preacher man. Oh no! Yes. Oh. Uh. Uh-uh. And it's it's not good. It's the creepiest part of that movie. <laughs> I know, and he's creepy in this book too. That's when that's when Disney movies used to be like dark. <laughs> they were that song so that he dark. sings about like lust <laughs> is so creepy. If you go back and watch it, I literally in the recent years went back and watched Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh no! And you don't realize how fucking messed up it is. Like, yeah, no. He's just, oh, he's creepy. Real creepy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to skip that one. You should skip that one. I can't remember what it was called, but I, like, I, like, I started skimming because I was like, this is not fun for me. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. No. I, I'm not I'm not here for that. Yeah. It's like when I had to, I had to skim some of It Ends With Us. Oh. Wait, which part? Like, the... It's just, like, when he started getting abusive. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> like, you know, threw a backhand at her or whatever the hell he did. Yeah. I don't, or, what did he do? It's been so long. He threw it. He throw her into the oven, not into the oven, but like <laughs> he maybe threw her against a door. Yeah. Or like a cabinet. Downstairs? Did she? Did she fall downstairs? Oh, I think he might have pushed her, <laughs> down, <laughs> her down the stairs. I'm not laughing at him putting her down the stairs, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had to. And I and it was the, the, I, the I will say this. It's not that it was like it made you uncomfortable. Yeah, it made me uncomfortable, but it made me uncomfortable because like. I wanted to like him. That's the whole point. And I'm just like, Ugh. I know. And I just didn't want to see him do that. I know. Because I was like, I'm sure she didn't either. I like him. Oh, I can't um, wait for that. Um, the movie with I'm Blake not, Lively. I'm not seeing that. <laughs> the, 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 who would want Blake Lively? Oh, I am not watching that. Just like the stills from that, from those sets. I wonder if we bully them enough to like change that. You know what I mean? Like Ugh. sometimes you can bully the people. I honestly don't think they've had a, they have a release date because I think they. Well, the writers and actors strike also had a thing. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. But I'm like, y'all, uh, it's just it looks like it's gonna be bad. I'm not giving them my money. I'm sorry. No. I'm here for all here for all the book adaptations. Yes. But um, you should listen to fan cast. People know. Yeah. Like if you look at like fan cast of like Avatar, and um, uh. Uh, oh my gosh <laughs> oh iron flame oh yeah, yeah, yeah and then well i'm like people have an eye you should just listen to you should listen to the people listen to the people i mean you don't have to listen to us 100 percent, but yeah like, you don't need all celebrities in the but blake lively i'm sorry i love you you are a gem yeah. but um you are not lily no it's it's not the right fit no i'm like also, how old is Blake Lively? Not like not trying to age shame her, but no, but she's supposed to be like twenty or early twenties in the book, isn't yeah, she? And yeah, and I'm like Blake Lively, you have to be forty. Yeah, she. If we're thirty-two, 
you're 32. <laughs> I'm not 32 either. <laughs> 31. We are usually like age just both unnecessarily. Blake Lively. Age. She's 36. That is surprising. I think I thought that she was older because I, you know, they always cast older people in like teen shows. Yeah. But she must have been like actually that age. That age. Because like the whole One Tree Hill cast was like. They're like 25. Yeah. Playing like 15 year yeah, olds. Yeah. yeah, exactly. She's 36. Still not age appropriate for Lily. It should have been. No, that's still 10 more years. It should have been a no name person. <clears throat> like movies yeah, like, like the that. The guy could have been someone. But like I yeah. feel like she should have been. Yeah. A no-name person. Guy who was in Jane the Virgin is the mm-hmm, cast mm-hmm. for Ryle. No, I don't remember his name. Is his name R- Ryle or? I don't know, I think that's how to pronounce it. <laughs> if that's it, <laughs> he's the yeah. Uh, he's the abusive. He's the abusive dude. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. But I remember people wanting Theo James fan cast in that role. I'm like, yeah, Theo James. I think. Did Theo you J- ever watch White Lotus? I think Theo James can do no wrong. <laughs> this, I love Theo James. This is a Theo James <laughs> fan <laughs> fan <laughs> podcast. Did you watch White Lotus the second season? I didn't watch the second season. He's in the second season. Oh yeah, that's reason enough for me to watch mm-hmm. it. Uh, he's good in it. Yeah. yeah. You need to listen to the fan cast. I am trying yeah. to like actively avoid though. It's really hard. Book talk and book stream make it really hard when you're in the midst of a series. Yeah. To not spoil yourself. Yeah. Cause like for Son of <clears throat> Glass, because I follow a lot of stuff for like Akatar and like I like, like stuff and for yeah. like Iron Flame and all that kind of stuff. So like a lot of fantasy stuff shows up on my reels. And then like the minute. I see anything related to like yeah. TOG. I'm like, <sighs> and it's it's probably really hard too because the series, that series, and her other one. I mean, to be fair, like all of these books have been out for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> so but I'm dealing with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get there together. Read along if you haven't read them as yes. we read these books. As I read these books for the first time, yes, and delve into these realms. And I say I'm very pr- appreciative of any fantasy book. That puts a map. Oh, I love a good map. I have to look at it constantly. Because um, I'll forget where something is, and I'm like, let me go with this map. But honestly, like... Or even Fourth Wing. The, yeah, the, like, the, the, the military what, thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was super helpful. I would have never known. I just, like, ignored that. I was like, it doesn't matter. I was, I was like, I have no idea what this hierarchy is. Like, I know. We I need this, number one. I That's need this explained to me. Honestly, like, with any fantasy book... <clears throat> I feel like I feel like you just have to read it twice, like to like, because <laughs> even in, like, to catch everything. Yeah, because even like throwing a glass, or like Avatar, yeah. any of these books, when like they reveal something, I'm yeah. like, did I? Make-? They've been laying that I'm like, groundwork for a I'm long like, time. They do it so, like incrementally. Yeah, yeah. and like subtly. Well, that's why I also. I'm like, what did I miss? That's why I also love book talk because like. I do miss all those things. And so I'm just like, whoa, it's like reading it for a second oh, time. It's I know. like looking at book talk theories. Yeah. Oh. Like people like annotate their books and like like flag things. I am so like impressed and jealous of people who do that. And I'm like, I want to start. It feels like a distraction. Like I want to start doing it just to like be able to go back. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, it's like I feel like I would like lose the you'd, moment. You'd like take so much longer, I feel like. I think I would have to do it on a reread yes like be in the moment the first one and then annotate next yeah like i wouldn't want to do it with like i don't know because like i wanted after going back and looking at the theories for iron flame Mm -hmm. i'm like how the hell these people catch this i know that's my thing too i'm like i didn't even think twice about that no (laughs) nothing's going on up here while i'm reading yeah i'm just just like it's like the absolute opposite of when i'm reading a thriller when i'm just like (laughs) taking notes i have a murder board like yeah. on the wall yes. i'm just like maybe i should start doing that for fantasy books uh yeah i mean i think i think you're right. i think it has to be like a reread because like i think you would lose the moment yeah i do take my notes though yeah i'll have to start taking notes now yeah my we'll get into we'll get into that on some other episodes but um i t- take a stream of whenever i read whenever i'm reading books that my friends have read I don't want to send them constant text updates because I'll be reading it 3 a.m. <laughs> she does. She has a problem. We should say this right now. Uh, Spencer has a problem where she can't. This does feel like AA. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> the first thing is admitting you have a problem. I do have a problem. She will, if she's into a book, she will finish it. I can't put it. I literally can't put it down. Yeah. Like, I don't even think I ate the day that, <laughs> that I read Iron Flame. Oh like, God. I don't think I stopped to eat. Oh, my God. I think I read it and then went and got Zaxby's. Blasted through it. Yeah. Like, I had breakfast. I read. Yeah. All day. I finished it in a day. It's a problem. That is a problem. I, I don't have that problem. I and I had to make myself do it with the second Throne of Glass book mm-hmm. because, and I think I'm going to have to make myself keep doing it because I know those books get even longer. They do. They get long. And I'm like, I just can't. <clears throat> I don't think I should physically put myself through reading like a thousand page book in a day. No. That just seems like a lot. That it seems like unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, a lot. Seems very unhealthy. That's a big book. Yeah. I just, it's a problem. I can't start books at like 10 at night. <laughs> like I have like a cutoff. It's like I can't start a book at past a certain time because yeah. I will stay up. But I keep notes so I don't text them in the middle of the night. Which is nice. So then I'll just send them one big text message that has all of my like reactions to everything. <laughs> But they've all read the books, so it's like, they're like, oh, I don't know. I especially like it for a series because it's nice to go back when something's revealed. And oh, like, yeah. I'm like, did I have a note about this? Or like, how wrong was I? I'm usually so wrong. <laughs> like, like, look, <laughs> like, look at that. We'll talk about it in another one. But like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm usually, I'm so off base. I love it. I'm so off base. Welcome to Fizz and Fiction. Where we'll be talking about all of the ins and outs of my bad reading habits. I'm trying to think. I think I... I don't think I have any weird reading habits. I read in the bath a lot. See, like, I don't understand that. What if you drop your book? I don't. I know, but like... <laughs> what if you did? You just don't. <laughs> what if you did? Uh, I also, like, I'll bring my Kindle in there, too. See, that's even worse. I'm like, that's electronic. But I've never dropped it. You know what's so funny is what? that you are the clumsiest person <laughs> I know, and you take a Kindle and a book into a bathtub. Like I've taken my phone in the bathtub too. <laughs> dangerous. Well, dangerous. I live on the edge. She is the clumsiest person in the world. It's true. It's true. You take a book and a Kindle into a bathtub. That's just like a recipe. Have you ever have you ever dropped a book in the bathtub? Um, no. I am actually... I've spilled things on books, like, knocking things over, but not... I've Kristen never, also does not believe, like, book... What was what, it? What, what, book, um... Um... What's it called? She folds pages down on books. Oh! She will fold a page down on a book. Yeah. I like bookmarks, though, too. But there's only near me. I used to just memorize a chapter I was on, but then I would forget. <laughs> so... <laughs> but... It's not a great system. I don't think that I've... I try and be nicer to my pretty hardbacks, but the paperbacks, I just do not care. Damn. Sorry. Paperbacks just, like, get the shaft. I'm a hard book snob, I will say that. Hard book, hard cover. Hard cover. Hard cover snob. If I oh. like a series, like, I, so, I had Third of Glass, the first three books, in paperback, oh. and I decided I liked it after the first one, and so I gifted Dylan my paperbacks and bought hardbacks. Because I wanted hardback. So bequeath, like, I on to, bequeath on to you. Yeah. So the only one I didn't repurchase was the Assassin's Blade because it's, um, like, I don't know. It's like a novella. So I'm like, makes it different. I don't know. I don't think I have a preference hardback to paperback. Paperback's easier to read in the bathtub. <laughs> you just fold those pages back. So Book trying, abuse. I, that's what I was the word I was saying. <laughs> Book abuse. That is what I think. <laughs> I'm tearing down a page is book abuse. That's what I feel. So I take the, I, I will say. Oh, do you take the cover off? I take the cover off. But when because you get of that, that um, my hands will sometimes be black when I get out because of the. Um, ink? Like the ink on the like cover, like the hard uh, cover. Oh, like that material like yeah, rubbing off. Yeah, with like the, I guess, uh, steam, steam of the bathtub. <laughs> of the bathtub. Um, mm. and so that's a little bit abusive too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your pages are probably, like, all damp. No. I'm sure there's moisture. Yeah. From your hands. Yeah. Turn in a page. If I, I mean, I don't take baths. I'm exclusively <laughs> she, showers. She hates baths. They're, like, yeah. reading a book in a bath sounds like my worst nightmare. 
I would be nervous about the book abuse. <laughs> and I'd be in a bath. It yeah. just sounds just, awful. But if I was, I would have to, like, have a towel beside me. Because I would have to, like, wipe my hand before turning the page. Oh, yeah. I, so, usually, I'm, like, propped up. Like, my elbows are propped up out of it. I just don't understand this my appeal. My hands aren't. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't It's relaxing. It. It's lovely. It doesn't sound relaxing at all. So relaxing. It sounds like I would be so nervous to get this book wet. But you can dry a book. It's paper. <laughs> <laughs> but it's book abuse. Well, they're well-loved books. I mean, yeah. yeah. You know what, what does get on my nerves, though? What? Is when, and, like, I get it because it's, like, make more money. But when a book comes out first solely in hardback. Oh, yeah. We should buy our book pet peeves. That's one of mine, too. It's just... The, why? Just you mentioned why? the Maze Runner. So I have the Maze Runner series. And then they released a... I think it's technically a prequel. But they released it in hardback. So I have all these paperbacks in a hardback. And then it's the same way with another one of my series oh, up there. It's so just annoying. one hardback. And I'm like... It's so annoying. It's so annoying. And they wait to like release it in paperback like probably like six months later. Oh, yeah. And it's like, I want to read this book now. Yeah. So I'm going to get the hardback. But yeah. I'm not happy about it. I also hate when they change the covers. Like Throne of Glass and um, Akatar. Yes. Because I like these so much better. Oh, yeah. Because I actually noticed that when you gave me the first mm-hmm. book, I was like, this isn't... Because when you see it on Book Talk, it's, it's the, the new covers. It's the new covers. Which they look cool, like whatever. But, but like, I like her. And I follow this artist. But um, like, she's a badass. Which, and like, I'm like, it gives yeah. me such a good visual. It does. And I, they're just pretty. Yeah. And they're fa- they're fantasy. Like, yeah. The new ones are like almost too modern. They look like they're, yeah, they look like they're trying to be cool. Yeah. Like you're already cool. You only gotta try. And, uh, but at least this, I have this whole series in the right kind. But my Akatar ones, I have the first three in the same it's the same artist the first three in the old style i don't think i've seen and they never released um oh yeah i don't think i've seen those okay i can show them to you um but they never released the they released frost and starlight in that but then they released silver flames with all the new um oh yeah 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 yeah. i have those i have the new ones yes so Uh, yeah it's the same artist as her as the throne of glass ones and it's just it's pretty they're just pretty is it those yeah Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like those. Yeah, you can, like, see her. Yeah. I hate when they change um, covers. Like, I'm all for releasing new covers. Like, special editions. Like, but special also editions. have the original ones. Yes. Available. Like, can you still buy that? No, they... Um, so, you have, like, a collector's edition. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. You better not damage it. Oh, you should Google um, the original, original Throne of Glass um, book cover. It looks wild. Like, more original than that? Yeah, like... Like, it was, like, her first book. So, I guess when they... I don't know when they started doing them like this. But, um, no. It, I think it's actually the one they... Oh, there it is. It's that. That looks... It's just, like, a, it's an actual human girl on the cover of it. Oh. No, there's like, Selena. Yeah. I don't like that. I know. I don't either. So. It almost reminds me of, like, when people do AI stuff now. Oh, yeah. I'm just, like... Yeah. It's weird. It is weird. And, like, so... That it's only that one that looks like that, so they must have like, when they were like, I guess when it did well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have like, like if it didn't do well, they're just like, yeah, we're not gonna make any more of these. Yeah, Um, but you know, I I hate when they change the cover. It does look like Sarah J. Moss. Weird. Yeah, I don't like that. No. But I do, I do love a good book cover though. I do, I do, I definitely judge a book by its cover. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. If you got a trashy ass, like cover that just does nothing for me yeah yeah but if i'm yeah if i'm in barnes and noble yeah i love barnes and noble yeah i just i can walk through there every day and walk out with a it's book. like a happy place oh yeah for sure get a little hot chocolate on a rainy day it's raining out here yes um i know a chilly rainy day oh walking through barnes and noble yeah go to the romance section no <clears> shame <throat> proudly stand and pick out my next romance <laughs> You know what I love about romance novels? What? Now. What? Is that... It, so they don't look it. Is that oh, what yeah. Saying? Well, no, they don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do love that. Because oh, it's okay. just like... It's, like it's not like a rip bodice like, lady on the front anymore. Or the... Fabio. Yeah, like Fabio's not mm-hmm. on the front. So people, mm-hmm. people might not know what I'm reading. Yeah. Um, but I love that they do... So many of them now make it like a little series. Like a little... Um, they'll have like four books. Mm-hmm. 
that you do not have to read every single one of the books. Like you can just read them like in ta- like you know out of order, but they all have like kind of the same characters. So it's like you read the first book and <clears throat> there's other people in it. So like. The second book. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Takes another character. Yeah. Like, explores the the next romance and the next romance. That happened to me romance. by accident, actually. Oh, you read them out of order by accident. Yeah, I read the second one out of order. Um, and you're like, who are those people? Yeah, and they literally like referenced a couple that got married, and I was like, oh, that's nice. And then I realized, <laughs> oh, they were from the first book. <laughs> It's just like a little, like yeah. a little treat, a little Easter egg. <laughs> yeah, it's it is fun. a little Easter egg. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I do, I do appreciate that. Mm. But yeah, they are. They're very dis. The the covers are disconcerting. You know, I do like that a lot. You just don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess we should probably like start wrapping up. Is there any other like book fun facts or like habits mm. or mm. things you love? A mm. color coded bookcase. <laughs> I did that once, which is it's nice, but you can't find anything. <laughs> How is yours organized? Right now? Yeah, mine's right now is by genre. By genre. And then, like, the series are all together. Oh. Yeah, mine's color-coordinated. And I love it. You have fewer series. Oh, Maybe yeah. that's the issue. It's like, I, like, my series are all different colors. Uh, so it's like you start, like, moving the colors around. Like, and you're like, book two's over here, find, book five's yeah. over there. Yeah. It's that's probably true. easier if it's just, if it's just like, standalone. Oh, like that. yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. This is our first podcast, so you guys should subscribe Subscri- and like. Subscribe. Is that a thing? I don't think kids say that now. Like and subscribe. I don't think the kids say that anymore. <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. I absolutely wouldn't. I'm younger, but I'm the grandma. Mm, yes, yes. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> what, wherever corner it's in. <laughs> Share with your friends. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah. stay tuned. Cheers. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, do you want to... Can you just do cheers to Fizz and Fiction? To Fizz and Fiction. To Fizz and Fiction. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Bye guys. Bye bye.